British Museum is located in central London and is a house for over 8 million exhibits documenting human history, art and culture and it's one of the largest institutions of its kind. But today we won't be talking about its most comprehensive collection of Egyptian antiquities or marbles from Acropolis of Athens. Today we're going to discuss this, the roof over great court and the algorithm which was vital to design it, the dynamic relaxation. The Great Court is the largest covered square in Europe. The steel and grass roof is built with over 5,000 steel elements and covered with 1,600 glass panels. The total area of glazing is 6,000 square meters. The question we will try to address today is how designers manage to make a triangular grid to look so fine. What is the underlying logic of this arrangement? We will leave uh, structure issues for now and focus only on aesthetics. We will treat the roof as a pattern of triangular mesh. Designers started from trying to draw a sensible structure-wise and aesthetically pleasing grid by hand. To illustrate this, this process, I will try to replicate it using only pen and paper to illustrate how computer is executing the algorithm. It is clear that I managed to draw a triangular mesh. It is constructed from triangles only, so it's probably making some sense structure-wise. But it's definitely not looking pretty. To be more aesthetically pleasing, grid should look less chaotic and more logical or harmonic. For this, we need dynamic relaxation algorithm. The rules of this algorithm are quite simple. You take one point, then you find all its nearest neighbors, and calculate position in the middle of all these neighbors, and finally you move your point there. Then you have to do the same for all points, doing one point at a time. This is the result of the applying this rule one time. You can clearly see that grid is looking much more harmonious than the one we have at the beginning. Let's give the dynamic relaxation another loop. This grid is looking even better. You also notice that after second loop, it changed less than after the first. That means that we are approaching a perfect solution and it's just a matter of few loops. The only question is how many loops do we need? You can find it out by measuring how much points move. Let's do a few more loops and see what's happened. If you are running the algorithm on a computer, it is very easy to do many loops. But as I'm drawing it by hand, I will finish here. I'm sure you get the concept of dynamic relaxation by now. My name is Tomek. If you like this video, please give us thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. It's the first video of this kind we ever made and we'll be grateful for any suggestion how we can develop the channel. If there is any building you want us to analyze, please let us know. Thank you for watching.